Hello everyone and welcome to this very special video on the death of David Von Erich. David Von Erich was only a wrestler for five years. David Von Erich died before starting a three-week tour with All Japan Pro Wrestling. On February 10th, 1984, in his Tokyo hotel room, before he was going to, among other matches, defend the United National Championship belt he had won in Texas days earlier. He was found by a wrestling referee after he failed to show up in the hotel lobby to leave for the show. David was a football and basketball star at Lake Dallas High School in the late 70s. He received a basketball scholarship to North Texas State, but quit school after one year to join his father as a professional wrestler. Kevin Von Erich said the tour's public relations director called him at 4 a.m. Friday to inform him of David's death. In an interview with a local paper, Kevin Von Erich said this, An autopsy mandatory in any death in Japan was performed late Friday and revealed that David died of a stroke. Kevin said, He had just finished a match and he went immediately to his hotel. He didn't feel well in the limousine and just went upstairs to his room, Kevin said. This is not true because Kevin uh, may have thought that he had had a match. Now, you know, because probably Kevin didn't know what the schedule was. But uh, David had not even had a wrestling match yet. He had just flew in there. Uh, so he had, he had not even wrestled on the tour at all. Uh, he says the heat under those lights in the Japanese arenas is unbearable. David is the kind that always gives 100%. And if that's not enough... He gives more. Knowing David, he probably overexerted himself. With all the talk of drugs and sports, I just can't help stressing that. He never touched dope or any of that. He never even took pain pills for injuries. He just would live with the pain. Uh, like I said, the last recorded match that David Von Erich had was at Ardmore, Oklahoma, and he had the match with Kamala the Ugandan Giant. He did not he did not wrestle one match in Japan. Uh, David was to begin what he deemed an important tour of Japan as rumors were spreading rapidly within the industry that David was going to win the NWA World Championship sometime in 1984. And I truly feel that this was going to happen. Now, how long he was going to be world champion the extent of it, I don't know, but I really believe he was going to be the World Heavyweight Champion. It was, a re it was originally reported that David Von Erich died from either food poisoning, a move gone wrong, which is not the truth because he did not have a match, particularly a kick to the stomach, which was untrue as David had not wrestled. Uh, but it's been rumored in wrestler circles that David's death was actually a result, result of a drug overdose. And we'll look at that, what people had to say about it. Ric Flair mentioned that Bruiser Brody, Von Erich's longtime friend, removed the evidence. The Von Erich's hire claimed it was caused by a ruptured intestine resulting from acute inflammation of the intestines, which could have been from food poisoning, which is a document case of death listed on the reported death provided by the U.S. Embassy in Japan. The disease, which generally attacks the large intestine and, and usually is not fatal, can be contracted in several ways, from having a virus to eating contaminated foods. Officials with the Dallas County Medical Examiner's Offices said Saturday, the disease can, can become fatal if, if it causes the intestines to inflame and loses its protective lining that allows water to enter the body, officials say. Without the intestinal lining, the body cannot store water and begins to dehydrate. Complications such as irregular heartbeat and heart failure may result, medical officials said. I, I don't know that I believe Ric Flair and that Bruiser Brody entered that room and got any kind of drugs out. I don't believe I don't believe that. I just don't believe that happened. This is comes from the same man that said that he was in Puerto Rico when Bruiser Brody uh, died. I just don't believe that. I I don't think that happened. Uh, it could have. 
my personal opinion, I don't think that happened. Others have speculated that David died from a heart attack. On the surface, this theory seems, seems unusual, given David was only 25 years old at the time of his death. Kevin Von Erick and former referee David Manning both attested to a heart attack theory. Manning and Kevin also claimed that David had been complaining about a pain in his stomach prior to the excursion to Japan. David had been taken to the emergency room at Spohl Hospital in Corpus Christi, Texas, less than two weeks before his ill-fated trip to Japan. He had complained of dizziness and flu-like symptoms and been put on antibiotics at the time. According to Wild Bill Irwin, who was on the tour with David, would say it was not a drug-related at all. David is believed to have suffered from bulimia, which Irwin alludes to in a 2017 Wrestling Shoot podcast on the Booking of the Territories YouTube channel. In an interview with Fritz, this is what he said. Fritz von Erich said Saturday that his son had been sick with flu-like symptoms for several weeks. Nobody knew what it was, he said. He had a flu-type condition for about six weeks. But in our business, if you can walk, you go out there. You're expected to go out there. People have paid to see you, at least in our family, it's that way. David was in no condition to wrestle. I feel very guilty about it, but that's the way it is. I'm concerned about it. I'm very upset about it. The Atkinson family lost a beloved husband, son, and brother. Wrestling fans lost the Yellow Rose of Texas. The world-class organization lost its most popular wrestler at a vital time when the industry would see its largest surge in popularity. Many speculated that the very successful world-class championship wrestling organization would eventually fall into the capable hands of David Von Erich. He would thus join the new breed of multi-generation promoters, which include Mid-Atlantic's Jim Crockett Jr. and WWF's Vince McMahon Jr. as pioneers who would lead the industry into the next century. Inside and out of the ring, David had inherited his father's business sense. He was negotiating deals for products that were new to the business at the time, such as wrestling action figures, t-shirts, videos, those close to world class had stated that Fritz von Erich relied on two vital people to make tough decisions. That was Gary Hart and David. David possessed an eye for wrestling talent, bringing in such world class superstars as the fabulous Freebirds, gorgeous Jimmy Garvin, the Irwin brothers, Gino and Dad Dance, and others at, at different times. Now, Gary Hart was also very instrumental in this. David was also gaining influence within the National Wrestling Alliance. He was highly respected among the Alliance Board of Directors, chiefly with vital members such as Florida's Eddie Graham, from whom David worked as a heel during 1981 and 1982, St. Louis's Sam Majnik, and Japan's Giant Baba, as well as former and current NWA World Champions Harley Race and Ric Flair which the latter two stated that David surely would become the NWA World Champion if he had lived. David's death was the beginning of the end for the Von Erich dynasty, the first in the change of tragedies which eventually brought down the world-class promotion, the one and most pivotal events in the history of the sport. An estimated 3,500 mourners came to the First Baptist Church in Denton. Many were young women whose screams for the wrestlers at, at the matches had been likened to the devotion other girls once bestowed upon the Beatles in the 1960s. On either side of the closed casket were po portraits of the Von Erich, one of him in his wrestling gear with his Texas Heavyweight Championship belt draped, draped over his shoulder, the other of him in a tan leather jacket and a white cowboy hat. One floor arranges was in the shape of Texas, and the other was in the shape of the cowboy boots, with a cross on top. Among other professional wrestlers who attended the funeral was Gene Kaneski, Dorian and Terry Funk, Vern Gagne, Duke Kamuki, Brian Adidas, Iceman King Parsons, Chris Adams, the Super Destroyers, and Jose Lothario. About 1,500 fans descended upon Grove Hill Memorial Park in East Dallas for a graveside service to follow the funeral. Many of them arrived as early as 8 a.m. despite the police telling them, please do not do so.
They milled around the casket. It was lowered into the ground. Fritz said the crowd is what made them, and he wanted the crowd to be part of this. It's a lot harder on the family this way, but the crowd loved the boys. For five years, David Von Erich climbed the smoke-filled professional wrestling rings carrying a yellow rose. Wednesday morning, many of the 2000 fans who gathered in Denton to mourn his death clutched yellow roses in tribute to the Texan who fought his way to worldwide fame. As the family limousine drove away, Ron Cook, a truck driver from Dallas, slowly, slowly shook his head and said what so many seemed to be thinking. Rustling ain't never going to be the same again. David was buried at Grove Hill Memorial Park in Dallas, Texas. Von Eric said David would be buried next to his oldest brother, Jack Jr., who died in accident when he was only six years old. Thank you.